Uh, now the last session for today is uh, lecture 3 where we are going uh, to make small overview of KPOS version 7. This is a DP system and the product produced by company Consbeck. Also here we are going to discuss bridge layout, system startup shutdown which will be demonstrated on each uh, individual tutor uh, what we have on your tables in front of you and uh, also I'm going uh, to give you some precautions about transferring control from conventional navigation or conventional bridge to DP control that one is our main stream per next hour original operator station what we have on board of the vessel installed inside anti-vandal protective metal case and you have to know that two stations may stay in one line if you are working on board of DP vessel class 2 and the configurations are available as DP1, DP2 or DP3 from Konsberg remember that each operator station contains a high-performance marine computer running on Windows XP. In other words, Consberg KPOS is Windows XP based solution. And we have also what, a high resolution color flat screen approved for maritime operations, which provides the main graphic display for presentation of data. Uh, then uh, this is land-based, network-based solution. Uh, where uh, many components are integrated to ensure that the DP system makes the right calculations and uh, uh, fully operational and uh, follows all regulations. Any bridge, has a, any bridge has a set of manual handles for control of the thrusters, main propulsion, rudders, and so on. So, before to transfer control to DP, appropriate bridge should be selected. This is the case when we have two bridges at the same vessel for example for bow maneuvering and storm maneuvering then the vessel must be ready for DP operations all company procedures should be respected appropriate logs done, appropriate checklist completed included both departments, I mean engine room and the bridge and then as soon as vessel ready for DP manual checks of all sorts of thrust should be done and in my example, uh, you may see how with the small demands and expecting the feedback, I recheck bow thrusters, port azimut, main propulsion, any other source of movable force if you have on your vessel should be checked previously to transfer control to DP. In other words, you have to be sure that if DP fails, the manual command is available and thrusters are responding for demands from manual handles of command. This is utmost important and that step should never be avoided previously to take command on DP. As soon as manual command uh, has given us the adequate reaction and expected result, we are ready to transfer control to DP station. In that case, we have to ensure that DP restarted, ready for operations and has uh, no any glitches or uh, inconsistent uh, uh, parameters. Before to transfer to DP, we have to ensure that the adequate company procedure is followed and if available appropriate checklist 
completed. Normally, company in operational manual provides you the detailed instructions how to take the certain type of control. In our case, we are showing you as example transferring control to DP through the touch screen panel where the appropriate button available for dynamic positioning control. In real life, not every vessel equipped with a touch screen panels for selecting the needed mode of operation. Very often uh, you may meet the type of switch which will show you the type of command or control selected and you are the one who have to turn that switch on appropriate mode. In my case, we are going to press the dynamic positioning main button and from that moment control will be transferred to DP. But remember please, by default the DP is staying in standby mode and the transferring control procedure from conventional bridge to DP should be as much as possible short in period of time. Otherwise, on conventional bridge, control will be deselected and at the DP bridge, control uh, will be not selected yet. And uh, before you haven't not yet selected control at DP, looks like you don't have any mode of command at all. So. Proceed from conventional to DP as fast as possible and try to check the control on DP when the mode on DP is selected.